Hello and welcome to the People Widget tutorial video. In this video, we'll be going over the People Widget. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to take me to a brand new widget. I'm going to go ahead and call it People. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click add an icon, do all that. Now you see that uh, the People Widget and some other widgets have um, the ability to, to create sections within, these, within the widget itself. And so if I click this plus button over here, then I can just call this section. Uh, well, let me say, let, let's call this staff, for example. And staff info. Okay. Um, so that will create uh, sections here. Um, volunteers. You can see that, uh, let's just say, you can see that the difference between these two are one, I have, for the staff, I have a description. For the volunteers, I don't have a description. So you can see that uh, the difference there. Um, now, under these sections, um, you can add items. And so if I go to staff and I click add item, um, I'm going to go Joey Tribbiani, position title, actor. <laughs> Uh, I can upload an image. If I click this here, I can upload an image. So I'm going to upload that image. We'll do that. Here I can uh, type anything I want to. I can put in uh, images. I can put in videos. Uh, I can put in links. So say, uh, you know, say for example you have um, somebody who wants to kind of give their bio or has a video bio or, or something like that. You can actually put their video bio in uh, this section um, just by clicking on that and either putting in the source code or the embed code, if it's like on YouTube or Vimeo or something like that, um, you can just put that in, um, and then that will uh, be pretty pretty sweet. Um, you can go down here, put their phone number in. Uh, you can go down here and put their email in. Um, I'll show you one thing by putting Facebook in. When I click done, you'll see that over here, and a couple things I want to make note of. Over here, you'll see that um, the ones, the icons that are, are uh, a little bit colored in um, are the ones that actually have something put in. So you, so you saw that I put in a Facebook um, URL, I put in an email, phone number. You can see that those are darker. The ones that I didn't put anything in for are not. So it's just kind of a quick reference. You can see what information is there or is not there. Um, also, the other cool thing is, if you only have one entry for a specific section, then when somebody clicks on that section, it will actually bypass the next list and take them right inside the entry. So if I click staff, it's going to take me right inside this entry that I created. Now if I go back and I, I add another entry, let's just say, following in line with the yeah. I don't know, I'll be a friend reference, I guess. Um, following in line with that, actually, we, no, no, what it is. Uh, analyst. Here I can put in information, here's info. Same thing, add all that information if I want to. You can see that now, um, when I click on staff, it's actually going to give me a list of the staff members first before taking into the um, into the, the section or into the items themselves. Um, so that's pretty cool, kind of a, a cool little feature we, we created for you. Um, so yeah, you can create as many sections as you want to. The other, the last thing I want to make note of is if you're going to delete uh, a section, make sure you click this delete over here and not this delete. Right here. If you click this delete down here, it's going to delete the whole widget, which I probably doubt you would want to do. You might, but I doubt you would want to do that. Um, instead, if you click the trash can over here on the section, then it will only delete the section and leave the rest of the widget. Um, and then also, if, if you have an entry that you want to delete, then you would just click this delete button over here. Uh, once you're done with that, click done, and uh, that is the people widget. It's pretty cool. Uh, if, you, if the users go in here and they click call or email or anything, it's going to take them and, and prompt them to do that exact action. Um, so that's the people widget. 
And you can use that for staff, leaders, executives, volunteers, um, you know, however you'd like to use that.